Do you want to escape and join the wild? And still receive your important mail? Well, stick to the end of this video and we'll show you how. On this episode on Proceeding Onward in America. We never had this happen before. Are you excited? So sometimes, our being is not always fun. Oh, that was awkward. That was awkward, but I'm sure we're not the only ones. <laughs> He's a cowboy. So we saw a sign that said if you're over 10,000 pounds, you had to pull over here. Welcome to Proceeding Onward in America. POA. I'm Fabian. And I'm Becky. And we have been full-time RVing since 2018. And in this video, we're going to show you how to become an escapee and receive your mail on top of some of the experiences that we went through as we went to South Dakota. Hey, Jaggy. So sometimes RVing is not always fun. Our tires were underinflated. So we went to fill him up and then our battery died. He's waiting to see if we can find somebody to charge us. Huh, baby? I know you're upset. <laughs> you excited? <laughs> He's a cowboy. <laughs> oh my God, this is funny. We woke up on the, the wrong side of the bed this morning. He did. <laughs> Get our battery charged so we can continue traveling. Yep, so we can make it to South Dakota to, in Rapid City and staying at the KOA. And we was basically heading over there so we can finish our application for joining this escapee. We already filled out the application, but this was part of the process of staying at a KOA for one night and getting a receipt so we can go down to DMV tomorrow and get our new licenses. All right, so we saw a sign that said if you're over 10,000 pounds, you have to pull over here. We're going to see what they say. Must cross scale. We never had this happen before. Let's see what they say. Uh, she waved. She just said go. Yeah. <laughs> that exceeded 10,000. Yeah, we exceeded 10,000. She just waved at us. <laughs> and off we go. Oh, that was awkward. That was awkward, but I'm sure we're not the only ones because we did see another travel trailer go through it. <laughs> so exceed, all vehicles exceeding 10,000 pounds. And we're definitely exceeding 10,000 pounds. I was just following the rules. Yep, she just following waved. The <laughs> she smiled. Probably happens all day long. <laughs> just following the law. <laughs> oh, South don't wanna, Dakota. Don't want to get arrested. Yeah. Don't want to get chased down the highway by police saying, you're, you, you didn't come in and weigh yourself. <laughs> Let's continue on to our next stop in South Dakota. Yeah. <laughs> Jack. Hi, baby. So let's talk a little bit of how you can become an escapees. So why did we become escapee members? And what benefits did it have to offer for us? Well, in this video, we'll go over that. There is many different mailing services out there, and we happen to just did our homework and did our research, and we came across that this would be beneficial for us. Yes, so it does offer three different states of Texas, South Dakota, and Florida, which you can use also for your residency when you get your license and so forth. We chose South Dakota because we were leaving Washington and it was just along the track to stop here and get our residency. Yeah, because going all the way to Florida or, or Texas. Texas was like way out of our driving spec, so we just chose South Dakota. Yep, and we figured why not? It's kind of close to where we usually go anyways, considering the other places we're not. They also do offer military discounts for joining the escapees. If you are not a military member or a veteran, um, you do have to do, do a membership application fee, which is now $49.95 a year. The only thing on top of it you would have to do every year is the membership 
uh, annual fee. So to be part of the escapees club is $49.95. So if you don't want the mail-in service, but you still want to be part of escapees, you can just be the escapees RV club. And exactly. that's just $49.95 mm -hmm. a year. The three plans they have is category A, B, and C. So we stuck with category A. It does cost $195 for non-military. We do get a little bit of discount for us. But the only problem is every piece of mail that you get will come to you and you'll be charged. Category B gives you special class of mail where you can actually choose which one that you want to be sent over to. And C is very is them sorting out your mail. And they'll sort it out and tell you for sure if it's junk mail or not. And they'll definitely mail you the most important ones. For scanning, there's a scanning service. They charge you $10 a month. You want them to open up your mail and scan it and then just email it to you. There's also that option as well. So that way you don't have to get that junk mail or you can get what's important quicker just by having it scanned and emailed to you. The thing is, when you join South Dakota, you also are part of the one down in Texas because that's where it's originally at. So if you every piece of mail that you get, if you use South Dakota or Florida, so does your mailing address, they will charge an additional $1 handling fee. Whereas if you just have all your mail go down to Texas and just leave South Dakota and Florida as your domicile, uh, you should not be charged that one extra dollar. Every couple months they send out a magazine. On top of discounts, you can do some education classes, which will send you a whole bunch of stuff in your membership kit. So a lot of stuff that you can do, like driving school and so forth, that you can look into as you sign up. So on top of it, when you first sign up for that $195, if you do category A, there is a $50 postage fee that you'll see in that list. Once you get down to $25 into your account, you will have to add an additional fund to make it past the minimum of $25. And that fee is basically just for them to mail it to wherever your destination. Well, if it's an important mail that they believe, they'll email you and let you know you have something in the mailbox. If it's an important package, they'll try to send it there as fast, and that's basically what your postage deposit is covering. It's just covering them sending it forwarding your mail to wherever location you're at. Alaska, Florida, New York, Maine, California, no matter where you're at in the United States. So in your membership kit, they'll send you a magazine, they'll send you your cards to let you know uh, your addresses and so forth, and also that way you can show people. And they'll send you a decal sticker that you can put on your RV. You'll also have ability to log in so you can check your account online through their escapees. So if you don't want to call them, you can log in with whatever they send you for your stuff and see what your account says. They also have a lot of social media accounts like Facebook, Instagram, and so forth that you can join as well. And they have different charters. So if you like to do certain things, um, you can join that charter and be part of that group. They also have a couple of campgrounds across the country that you can actually stay for, stay there at a very discounted price because you're part of the membership program. And in some of those campgrounds, not all of them, they even have land for sale. So if you really want to buy a piece of their RV site, you can actually do that as well. So if you're really interested in knowing more, make sure you also check out their website, which is right here or in our description below. So they do give you paperwork and everything to help you understand how to fill out your paperwork. And to start for your licenses, you're gonna need to do this. They will send you a proof of address for your license, which is gonna show your mailing address, which is Texas. And if you're in South Dakota, it's gonna show your physical address, which is in South Dakota. Same thing for Florida. They are gonna email it, so you are gonna have to print that out as proof to take to the DMV for your um, proof of address. Yes, we ended up being close to a library since we don't have a printer, so we went to the library and printed off. They are also gonna send you a residency affidavit. Yep, so that will be filled out. You will also need to bring some proof of ID. You'll have to have at least your social security card, could be one of them. Your passport could be another. 
and your old driver's license. For South Dakota, they made us go to Rapid City DMV. Um, they weren't really allowing us to go to other places. I've heard other people go to other counties and so forth to get their licenses, but they highly recommend the Rapid City one due to the fact that so many escapees go to their location and they know how to handle this process. So when we went there, we stayed at the KOA and we was able to get the receipt that we were staying there for a night or two. The Rapid City KOA understands this process as well. So we highly recommend that location because they understand the scapies and then you can go to the DMV later on and make it all work. Okay, for check-in, it is walking. It's not um, walking to the store right there. Get all your fun stuff in your packet and head on out. Game room, restrooms, it's fantastic. Right after you pass that first direct game room and all that, you can go left or right depending where you're staying. He's gonna go to the left. He's gonna fall this on down. Jag is really all about it. Since ours is a pull through, we're gonna go right around the corner. He's gonna pull on through here. See, I told you he's coming back. Every single inch of that is gonna be used by us. Due to COVID, everything had to be done by appointment. And we stood outside inside of our car until it was time for us to get in. And then once we got in, we uh, hand them everything. They took our photos and then right there and then we had our licenses printed. So it was easy peasy. So just make sure that you have been at a campground or a hotel or something that can give you a receipt. It has to be within one year of what you're applying for for your license at least. Now for registration on your RV or your vehicle, I'm gonna cover in another video. Mm -hmm. And that's because of the long process we went through to get all of this matter taken care of. Because we was kind of in a rush and we wasn't able to stay there and wait too long. And we ended up getting the truck in South Dakota, but we got the RV in Virginia. So we'll explain those in the later videos. Make sure that you stay tuned and you keep following us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and don't forget to become our Patreon, where just a dollar a month can help us make more videos like this. And if you haven't yet, make sure that you like and subscribe and comment down below. Until next time. Keep proceeding onward in your adventures. Bye-bye. Bye. On the next episode. These masks work for something. We got two rocks that actually came from the mountain. It's a rock as big as my head. <laughs> I, I love my husband. Oh, okay. It's smaller than I thought. It's smaller than what you thought. Yep. That's everyone's complaint.